Hi guys, what's going on? Good to see you again. This is Oleg, your real estate broker with Windermere Bellevue Commons. Uh, today is October and this episode is going to be my market update for all East Side and all Seattle neighborhoods. I want to start this episode with the story. I sold this house, you guys can see on the screen right now in summertime and help for amazing people, my clients, uh, to buy this property. And in some specific areas, we have really hot market right now, not everywhere. Uh, we're right now moving to more slower season, uh, winter time, and I will explain in a minute what's going to be happen. We probably look for the house for six months to buy and very specific neighborhoods, like very close to Microsoft. House has to be nice and big and in good streets and with a good school district. This is very important for my clients. And we found this property. Listing agent said offer review date. Listing agent was from Windermere. I'm also a Windermere broker in Bellevue. And we was able to negotiate basically price and negotiate terms and sign this deal before offer review date an agent can sell appointments for this property and sold the property to my client we are excited we are happy uh, they've got a home this family going to be live there i mean i'm really happy for them and if you guys looking to buy a property right now i can help you as well reach out to me and we can discuss your private situation now i want to show you guys this slide and i want to talk a little bit about why people buying properties on east side and even Prices are very expensive, really expensive right now, but people still choosing to buy properties on east side when they're moving to Seattle metro locations. This is like one simple example, uh, zip code 98033, it's a West Kirkland, and you guys can see with me right now on the screen, appreciation for the last 10 years for this city. And even before that, like if you guys go to my channel, if you follow me and you look for the Kirkland uh, updates I did like five or six years ago, the medium appreciation was 7% even that time. And I told everyone price is going up when you can get house for like seven, eight hundred thousand dollars, buy it because it's like a really, really good deal. But now check this slide right now. So 10 years ago, medium close sale price in West Kirkland was one million two hundred thousand dollars. Currently, right now we have two million three hundred sixty thousand medium close sell price so you guys can see if you put a down payment 20 percent for property to buy in west kirkland for 1.2 million dollars you put it 20 percent two hundred forty thousand dollars your money going to be appreciated 481 percent in 10 years simply you go into work and sleep and within 10 years you've got 481% depreciation. That's how desirable this location is. And this is why a lot of people move into your site and look into buy properties in Kirkland, Bellevue, Redmond, Issaquah, Sammamish. A lot of jobs here, uh, there's a great school districts here, a lot of parks, good neighborhood, and people moving to sales east side and really, really desirable locations here. Now, speaking of mortgage interest rates, what's happening with mortgage interest rate? Mortgage rates supposed to be decreased, right? So they're supposed to be decreased by end of the year, but they increase last week. And they jump from 6.2% to 6.6% after labor market report. The economy doing really good right now. The labor market is really hot right now. We're supposed to have a less job, but apparently we got 75,000 more job than expected. Bond market reacted, mortgage backed security decreased, and with that mortgage rates increase. They really correlated to each other. But again, no worries. We have two more FEDs meeting by end of this year. One will be in uh, November and second will be in December. And they're talking about decreasing rates for quarter percent or maybe 0.5 percent. And if they will decrease rates, mortgage rates will react and will decrease as well. Will be depends how much FEDs decide to decrease rates. If they decide in November decrease for 0.5 percent, then we'll see dramatic mortgage rates decrease. If they decide to decrease only quarter percent and in December decrease 0.5 percent, then we will see slight uh, mortgage rates decrease. I'm thinking most likely we're going to have slight mortgage rate decrease and probably we're going to have 5.75 percent. Hopefully, I cross my fingers, 5.75 percent by Christmas. But 
that might not gonna happen too so we'll see together what's going to be happen but this year is very volatile because it's election year and very different from any other year and speaking of King County, in Stahomish County, on this slide you guys can see month supply of inventory. Why is this important? Because depending how many homes on the market right now, it's how hotness market is. You guys can see with me on the screen, yellow color is less than two months supply of inventory in majority of area in 2024, but we have some balanced market, it's a green color. And you guys can see green colors we have in West Bellevue, South Seattle, Tequila markets and buyers market more than four months inventory right now only in one location, Western Island. Sorry guys, Western Island have a lot of homes for sale. But again, for someone, that's maybe an opportunity. If you guys are looking to buy vacation property, right now, time to buy because a lot of homes listed right now for sale and no buyers in these locations right now. Now let's see numbers, what's happening in Seattle's east side locations like Bellevue, Kirkland, Mercer Island, Issaquah, Sammamish, Redmond. You guys can see with me on the screen right now, we have 1.5 month supply of inventory with medium close sell price, $1,527,000 and price increase for 7% year over year. Shocking, shocking for me guys. You guys can see for last years what's happened sales east side in September. I didn't see a single year when the prices was dropped. Right now market slowing down because price is very high. But you guys can see for last 10 years, prices just was increasing and increasing and increasing and increasing. So that's really shocking to me. And this slide shows some wheels guys. 35% homes in sales east side sold above asking price. 16% sold at asking price, those agents just spotted price. And we have 23% homes sold below asking price. And we have 26% of sellers have to reduce price before they was able to sell property. People who negotiate price, they negotiate about 3%. And people who pay above asking price, pay 5% above asking price in Seattle's east side. So 5% for $1.5 million is about $75,000 in average. People paid above asking price to buy properties. In Seattle, market really strong as well. You guys can see medium close sell price, $938,000 with price increase for 1%. But for last 10 years, prices was only increasing in Seattle. Uh, not every neighborhood, not every location, but in a lot of location, prices increase in Seattle. And currently we have 1.9 month supply of inventory, which is still in the seller's market, but we're almost in a balanced market in Seattle. We might have a balanced market if you're gonna get more listings in October and November. We'll see what's going to be happen by end of this year. 30% homes in Seattle sold above asking price, 18% homes sold at asking price, and we have 23% homes sold below asking price. And 29% sellers have to reduce price before they was able to sell the property. And this is last slide I want to show you guys. Our average sold price in 2024 comparable to September 2023. In majority of areas, prices increase. With exceptions of few cities uh, like uh, West Bellevue, prices decrease comparable to, to 2023 like Kent and few other locations. I'm not gonna go about every city in details, but you guys can stop this video, look for your city and see how many active listings right now, how many sold listings in those neighborhoods and what price doing for average sold price in the neighborhood. This is a very interesting slide and a lot of information here. For that guys, I wanna wrap up this episode with my thoughts about real estate market in October. October is very similar to every October I see for last 25 years in real estate with exceptions of election year and election year the market slowed down more than in usually we see slow down in a fall time before the holidays so that's what we see right now that's what's happening right now and after election after november 5th we're going to be see probably some market improvement because a lot of people will decide what to do to buy or sell maybe move to different state to live so we're gonna see some movement and we're gonna see some shift in real estate market if you guys need any help reach out to me 
I will be love to help you to buy or sell your real estate property. I'm working in King County, in Snohomish County. I'm covering all those cities. My office in Bellevue, and I love to help you with your needs. With that, guys, I hope you enjoy. Smash like button if you like this video, and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Enjoy your October, and if you're looking to buy or sell, I will be love to be your real estate resource. Have a fantastic week, and till next month.